Okay. So some CER basics for you. Um, the C in CER stands for claim. The E in CER stands for evidence. And the R in CER stands for reasoning. So first, what is a claim? Uh, the claim is the argument that you are making as the writer. It is your stated position on a topic. And it's what you will seek to prove in the paragraph. So, um, you know, Oreo cookie put out this tweet. Oreo cookies are the best, right? This is disputed by no one. Maybe you disagree. I don't know. A claim is not uh, a statement without an opinion, right? Oreo cookies are cookies. No one disputes that. Multiple arguments. While Oreo cookies are tasty, so are Chips Ahoy and... Um, and uh, those vanilla wafer things. Now nah, you gotta pick one, you gotta pick a side. Or both sides are an issue. While some say Oreo cookies are the best, others say uh, Chips Ahoy are the best. You, you, that's not a claim, that's, that's giving multiple perspectives. So some claim sentence starters could be uh, your position because support or evidence, or example shows argument, or because support evidence, your argument, or your position is shown through examples. So how could this look? So for the first one, it could be, school should start later in the morning because it is healthier for students. Or if you were to do example shows argument, too many people are getting hit by cars, and that's why we need a lower speed limit. Because we should encourage more exercise, recess needs to be a part of high school. Schools should have a vegetarian option at lunch, and this is shown through San Jose and Sandra's diet habits. The idea being is that this is the claim. This is what I will seek to prove in my paragraph, and these are the sentence starters to do so. Now, evidence. Evidence is how we prove our claim. Your evidence should always come from a reputable source. Your evidence needs to connect to the claim. Right? Like, yeah, it has something to do with it. Now, in science, your evidence may be something like the results of your experiment, uh, but ask your science teacher about that. This is an English class, so we're going to study stick with English. In English and social studies, it will 99.99% .99 of the time be a direct quote from a book or an article. A direct quote needs to be word for word from the text. Now, whenever you use evidence, you need to introduce it. And so the biggest thing that you need to do when you're introducing evidence is telling us the source. So according to Poe, I heard all the things in heaven and on earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? This is from the Telltale Heart, right? So the one way you could do it is identifying the author. The other one is to identify the name of the book or the short story. So according to the Telltale Heart or the article name, I heard all things in heaven and on earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? You could also say from Poe, I heard all things in heaven and on earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? If you're getting this from a book, you'll also want to include the page number. If you don't, if you're not using a book, if you're just getting it off an article or web page, then don't worry about the page number. From the telltale heart, I heard all things in heaven and on earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? Right? So you got to put one of two things, either the author or the name of the book, short story, or article. If you do not have one of these things, then you're not doing evidence properly. And then when you give the evidence, it should always be word for word with a quotation mark at the beginning and a quotation mark at the end. Reasoning. All right. If you ever get around me, I'm going to ask you all the time, where does reasoning come from? Reasoning comes from your brain. Okay? It shows me your thoughts and the way you understand your claim evidence and overall, just how you prove your claim. So when you look at your graphic organizers, we have sentence starters for the reasoning. And I usually recommend two to three sentences. Again, I cannot say this enough. Reasoning comes from your brain. You should not be quoting the author at this point. You should not be quoting me. This should be coming entirely from your brain. This is how I know that you can think this thing through. So... For this project, we're just going to start with the very basic sentence starter. So the three I'm looking at are, this describes how, this is important because, this is relevant because. And I'll even make it a little bit easier. For this assignment, here's how I'd want you to use these three sentence starters. 
This describes how, put the quote in your own words. So this is why you always give the direct quote. And then, and then when you're doing your reasoning, you'll say, this describes how, and you'll put the quote in your own words, right? What is the quote saying? What is it describing? This is important because, why did you choose this quote? Any, any short story, article, book, you have, you know, potentially hundreds of quotes you could use. Why are you using this one? Why is this quote useful? This is relevant because how does the use of this quote show your claim? Okay? So these are your basic sentence starters. In the next project, we'll go into intermediate and advanced sentence starters. But for right now, I just want you to stick with the basic. Okay? So let's look at an example. So claim. The narrator in the telltale heart is crazy because he's hearing voices. Okay? Evidence. A quote that demonstrates this from the telltale heart is, I heard all things in heaven and in the earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? Right? Um, so this is our claim. This is our evidence. Now we go to reasoning. This demonstrates that he is hearing a variety of voices from a variety of places. This isn't healthy. This is important because it will predict his behavior later in the story. If you've read the telltale heart, he thinks he's hearing the heartbeat underneath his floorboards, and he tells, you know, he, he confesses to the murder. This is relevant because hearing voices is a sign of poor mental health. Okay, if you're if you're hearing voices, um, you know, have, help us reach out to your um, to, to mental health specialists. Okay, so when you are submitting the paragraph, now I, I never want you to submit the graphic organizer. This is just for you. Okay. And the, the graphic organizer I always see are kind of like training wheels. Use them as long as you need them, okay? If I'm, start, if I'm seeing your paragraphs aren't working, I'm going to put you back on them. And I'd recommend trying them for at least the first couple. Then all you got to do, though, is copy and paste and put the paragraph together. So the narrator in Telltale Heart is crazy because he's hearing voices. A quote that demonstrates this from the Telltale Heart is, I heard all things in heaven and in the earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? Uh, there should be a quotation mark here. Sorry. This demonstrates that he is hearing a variety of voices from a variety of places. This is important because it will predict his behavior later in the story. This is relevant because hearing voices is a sign of poor mental health. So you guys see, when you're doing the paragraph, I'm not, do I'm not doing anything new. I didn't already do on the graphic organizer. It's all the same information here. And that's how you complete that first CER paragraph. Okay. Uh, so good luck with these. The more you write these, the better you'll get at them. All right, guys. Thanks for listening.